is the init patch and I'm going to rescale the window so you can see things better. I'm zooming in a little bit and I am deleting the MIDI note and the basic stuff. So we have a blank screen and I, I'm thinking of creating something like a carpus strong thingy so we need a MIDI note. We need to convert the gate into a trigger so we only have one one value when we hit the key and this kind of patch does exactly this if I put that here and uh, create a scope and I don't know create again out out so we should hear something now but if I hit a key and I release it nothing happens so it's just what we wanted so I can hit a key release it without uh, another event so there's one even one value occurring when I hit a key so now I'm going to create a designer which is going to be our corpus thing which is going to have an input which I call hit and zoom in so you see it better we will need some kind of pitch input and we will need something that's that's a feedback thing so I call this FP okay so the hit is going to be our trigger and the pitch is going to be something that we have to feed into a delay and this actually makes no sense so we have to convert the pitch to something we can use to hertz and uh, to can convert hertz to milliseconds we need the reciprocal of this tech yes and uh, this is the reciprocal and we need to have this uh, the delay needs milliseconds and this is seconds, so we need to write thousand there and we are done. The heat is going to be fed into the delay's audio input. And the feedback is going to come after it. Then we have a multiplication. And so this is just a single delay now. If uh, we create an add node between the hit and the delay, we can feed back the value from the multiplication into the add node. And by creating a con, we can clean up the patch. And now all we need is an output. Now we have an output, I rename it to out. And this is the very basic Carpus Tong patch. If we connect this, uh, the corresponding uh, to each other then we have a we have the basic carpus strong thing so yes that's the way it looks nice I insert a scope here the frequency of one and uh, if I hit a key now this should be between 0.9 and 1 so we have a longer feedback yeah let's turn this to polyphonic Oof. okay but the signal doesn't go into the negative direction so it's a huge amount of DC offset there so we have to create something that will uh, be more useful so I create another designer and I think that we need an input which I am going to call T like trigger and here I am going to use a 2P filter, which is nothing more than a state variable filter. And I am going to divide the output with the resonance 
where the resonance is going to be between 0.001 and 1. So I'm doing it like this. I'm going to create an input for this, like R. Yeah, that's nicer. And the pitch is going to be something like, I, I don't know, 15 maybe. Yeah, that should do it. And uh, this is going to be the output. And this way, if I connect this to the hit, I rename this to hit. If we have a knob here between between these two values, we will we will hold here almost nothing because this is so weak. So I multiply this whole thing with a pretty large number like. And uh, if I connect this to the, so this way you see this is what the hit does. Uh, I'm, I'm multiplying it with 64 then. That it resonates. And this should be enough somewhere between 0.4. This way we have a negative value and the feedback will also go into the negative direction. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, and now we will need something that uh, makes this hit a bit more interesting. So I'm thinking about using a noise, like white noise, and multiply. So the the this uh, whole structure will be something like an envelope for a noise from now on. And if I uh, let's listen to it only see and if I use this hit with the car plus strong wow that's a car plus strong we can shape the uh, shape this noise further by using a filter 2p once again and using another input with for pitch like this is really going to be the pitch so I'm this is going to be like, uh, I don't know, stiff, uh, and, and stiffness is different, but uh, it um, really is, yeah, that's something that makes sense. So this is going to be P, and I'm going to, this is going to be something like Q, or maybe, yeah, maybe it makes sense, maybe not, doesn't matter so much, so this P, I create a con and connect it to there and I give another knob I feel like the screen recorder is doing something with me but doesn't matter I forgot to divide what I like to do because this is keeping my level stable this divide division after the queue because this way whatever I do here things won't be too loud and too too not loud anyways let's listen to what we have now like this this is something like a harp I like this okay let's uh, do something with this feedback I like the way it is now but I would like to have this instrument like uh, like it had a sustain so while I hit the key it shouldn't uh, use the feedback it should use a constant one and when I release the key, it should uh, release with the feedback value. And for these purposes, I like to use the crossfade and use a gate as the crossfade input. Make it pretty. Connect this and. You 
can do this with the harp, but you can do it like this in Alpha Forever. Okay, let's go and uh, create some realis realism in this uh, carpal strong with inserting a one pole filter. And this is going to be something like damping inside the feedback. So Damping to behave like uh, the feedback, but uh, based on the velocity. So, another crossfader is going to be the maximum velocity, and uh, for the minimum velocity, I think I'm going to use another knob like like that's going to be the minimum, maximum. And the crossfade is going to be the gate. And this way we are almost fine. I just align the notes and create one more cone. Like this. Take this down to there so. Or maybe up that's pretty high, yeah so now now I plug this into the DMP and actually this sounds cool but this is not what I wanted because this is not using the velocity I forgot this is the gate anyways let's go velocity there And now it's the velocity. for this R which is the hit release time some something like that yeah this, this is the hit release frequency that's that makes sense I'm going I, I want this to behave velocity dependent as well so drag that by the side okay create a crossfader This is going to be the minimum now. I want another, uh, and this is going to be there. I want another value with just two and like somewhere like there for the maximum. And uh, now I want to connect the velocity to create another cone. Keeping things pretty always helps when you want to understand your patch later on and. Uh, Should be lower. Mm -hmm. 